We're going to do a demonstration on how to give an insulin injection. Before you start, it's really important that both you and the person who's going to have the insulin injection are somewhere private and sitting comfortably. If you're working in a school, we recommend that staff work in pairs. The equipment you will need includes an insulin pen, your insulin and your insulin pen needle. It's vital that you use a clean pen needle for every single injection. The insulin cartridge will usually be loaded into the pen, but if you need to change the insulin cartridge, this is how you do it. First you remove the lid from the pen, and then you unscrew the pen in the middle. You take out the old insulin cartridge and put the new one in and then you connect the two halves back together again. And that's how you change the insulin cartridge. It's important that you check that the insulin that you're about to give is the correct insulin for the time of day and that the insulin is in date. The insulin name and date are clearly stated on the cartridge. To put a new needle onto the pen, you peel off the paper backing being careful not to stab your finger on the now exposed inner part of the needle. Push the needle onto the end of the injection pen and screw on firmly. Remove the outer needle cap. It's then important that you do a little check to make sure that the insulin pen needle has screwed onto the top of the pen successfully. Because we use a new needle each time, it's important that we do a test shot to make sure that insulin can come out of the new needle. To do this, you dial up two units by twisting the dosing dial at the end of the pen. Remove the needle guard so that you can see insulin coming out of the end of the needle. Hold the pen firmly in your hand and using your thumb, depress the plunger and watch for the drops coming out of the needle. Once you have checked that the pen is working properly, you can now dial up the dose of insulin required. To do this, you dial up at the end of the pen. I'm going to dial up four units of insulin. Again, you need to hold the pen nice and firmly in your hand so that you've got your thumb free to press the plunger down. Insulin can be given into the top of the arm the top of the leg, the tummy, and the bottom. Your diabetes team will guide you as to where the best place is for you to have your insulin injections. I'm going to give it into the top of the arm. You need to insert the needle at 90 degrees to the skin, and you push all of the needle into the skin. Once the needle is fully in the skin, you press the button down, and that delivers the insulin and the dosing dial will now read zero. You now count to 10 seconds before you remove the needle from the skin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then safely remove the needle from the skin. Take the big outer cap, put it onto the top of the insulin pen needle and unscrew. This needle can now be disposed of safely in the sharps box. Always put the lid back onto the insulin pen to protect the glass vial within. If you'd like to know any more information about how to give an insulin injection, please speak to your local diabetes team.